Hi everybody, no lo long time no see. I just wanted to make an update video real quick while my son is sleeping. Um, this is the room that I study in now since I've moved all of my kids to one room and they've been enjoying it. <clears throat> but anyway, so this semester was third semester and I just finished yesterday. Um, took my final for psychiatric, mental health psychiatric nursing. And let me tell you this semester was fast it went by so fast and i can't believe i'm done and well on my way to fourth semester next month so this semester it started out with intermediate med surge really didn't want to go back after this summer um but i had intermediate med surge my clinical instructor was a icu nurse an icu nurse and she was also house supervisor so she had experience with management and um the hiring and everything and she was strict she was um just all the things that you would like a clinical instructor to be she was strict but also educated you with love like you could tell that she really cared that you got the material she didn't ridicule you ridicule you or whatnot but i did great i went in there this semester it started out with just you know what, I'm going to put my insecurities to the side, all this anxiety crap. I'm going to put it to the side. So I, I learned a lot. I was more, um, just put myself out there and ask my nurses, hey, can I do that? Can I, can I do this IV? Can I, although I didn't get to do IVs this semester, they were all done by the time I got there. But, um, can I do that? Can I administer this med? Can I do this new procedure, whatever? So I got a lot done in med surge this semester and all of my nurses loved me and I got good reviews from my clinical instructor and also left with a letter of recommendation. And then I moved on to psychiatric mental health nursing and that was a whole different deal, dealing with people in psychiatric hospitals. Um, for one, for starters, you don't have to do total care at all. Like they, they already do their own. Um, it's just a matter of therapeutic communication and validation and redirecting and all of that kind of things, all of the, all of that kind of thing. And if you are not familiar with that and you're in nursing school or you're on your way to nursing school, you'll learn about that when you get there. But it was just interesting to um, kind of be confronted with the biases that you have about people that you hear about that have psychiatric illnesses, like bipolar people, people with schizophrenia, you're confronted with it. And it's not as bad as you think. Most people think it's like, oh my God, you know, straight jacket crazy, you know, all these kinds of things, but it's not what you think. There are some people in my clinical that kind of broke down crying I'm not really sure why, but you know, everybody has their different uh, thresholds or triggers that um, that they come face to face with during this rotation. And that's what my lecture instructor stressed to us that you will be triggered during this rotation. Um, he, our skills lab was different in mental health. It was sort of like a counseling group therapy session. So there wasn't actual, there wasn't an actual uh, STEM or procedures being taught to us. They were being taught to us through group therapy um, with us being unaware that we were actually learning how to conduct therapy or how to therapeutically talk to someone. So it was an enjoyable skills lab. But all in all, um, I left intermediate skill, uh, intermediate med surge with an 89%, which really gets to me, but it was a B. I left uh, psychiatric mental health yesterday, finishing the final with an A, finishing the class with an A, and was extremely excited about that. So uh, moving on, going on to advanced med surge next semester, and also, um, what is it? Something about leadership after that. But I'm well on my way to graduating this May, on target, on schedule. So happy that I passed both of those classes. Another thing about psychiatric mental health nursing that we did, we did a rotation at an, a substance use, substance abuse um, facility that um, 
it's kind of a, a place where they can stay, sort of a halfway house, but then they also do detox and withdrawal and give you counseling and therapy sessions there. Um, so we did a rotation there. We had to go out there and uh, interview some of the people that were going through withdrawal from substance use and um, kind of get a sense of all the symptoms that they were feeling and any family problems that they were dealing with because of their issue. And so that was very eye-opening and um, enjoyed that tremendously. Also had to do um, attend some chemical dependency meetings, two extra ones. So we did uh, Alcoholics Anonymous and Narconon, which is uh, Narcotics Anonymous. So that was also an enjoyable experience. We had to write papers on that as well. Intermediate med surge, we had to do four care plans, um, an evidence-based paper, and a presentation. My presentation was on obesity, uh, which got good grades on those. And then in psychiatric mental health, had to do um, four care plans that were due like the next day, and um, some mini mental health assessments, and some inter-rater form, which is basically you sitting there watching another student interview a client <clears throat> or give therapeutic communication towards another client or a client. <clears throat> and so it was all in all an enjoyable rotation and I'm glad I made it out. I feel like I've gained a lot of weight. I probably look like I have, but <laughs> wearing this big bulky sweatshirt, but whatever. Um, I plan on, you know, eating right, but um, yeah, this rotation was just something else. It was a breeze. It's like, I can't believe it's done. And now on to fourth semester. Just as an update, I have um, applied to the local state university for the RN to BSN program, hoping to hear back from them in February and hoping to start in, um, let's see, what would that be? August, 2020. So right after I'm graduating from this program, the ADN program, in May 2020, I hope to start February or um, August 2020 for the RN to BSN program. Um, also an intermediate med surge, also had a rotation in ICU and also ER. Uh, ER was exciting to me, so that's on the docket. That's at a possibility for me as a nurse. ICU, I did not enjoy at all. There's just too many lines, too many just just felt like death in there, <laughs> like, like there was no hope. Um, I'm pretty sure there is, but it just felt that way that day. So I'm not really interested at this point in ICU nursing, but ER, yes, a high possibility. Um, as well as med surge, I don't mind starting there. But, you know, you take, you basically kind of take what you can get when you become a nurse uh, or a new grad nurse. So we'll see. But yes, that's um, that's what's gonna happen. I've applied to CSU, uh, CSU College locally and for their RN to BSM program and hope to get in there. Um, I also hope that that looks good on my application as well when I start to apply as a new grad nurse. Uh, some of the other things that I am looking into doing is volunteering at the local hospitals. Because I attend college or a nursing school outside of the city that I work in. The local hospitals have not seen my face. They've never heard of me. Um, and I just don't want to work in the, in the city that I go to school in. It's just, I'm sick of the drive. But if push come to shove, of course I'm gonna take a job over there and apply over there. But at this moment, I would really love it if I could get a local job. And I'm really just leaning on faith leaning on God because he's really what got me through this semester like the anxiety was real the anxiety the insecurities they were all real and um, some advice to you if you're going through it maybe pray maybe look at a scripture before you go into that clinical and um, really boost yourself up give yourself the confidence and know that everything will be okay um, but I'm rambling and I just wanted to come on here and make an update in Everything went smoothly this semester. It kind of makes me, you know, look at the next semester with suspicion. Like everything's going to just 
come flying at us this semester or next semester, but I made it through this semester and it was a lot of work. So um, I'm sure with the help of God, I will get through this next semester and graduation is almost here and I'm so proud and happy to be almost done. Like for real, for real. Um, anyway, hope you all have been well and this was just a quick update. I plan on doing a few other videos while I'm on vacation here because I do have a month before school starts back up, which will be January 21st, 22nd, somewhere around that month. But um, yeah, it's done y'all. Third semester is gone and I'm on my way, almost there. Anyway, this is an unedited video. And so uh, that's you, you get what you get. I, I only have a few minutes before my son wakes up. And so just wanted to update you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.